The core of every star runs on nuclear fusion, a process in which light nuclei fuse to form heavier, larger nuclei. It's how we get sunlight. In our sun, nuclear fusion turns hydrogen into helium nuclei, forming high-energy photons along the way. It's an energy-intensive process, so much so that a temperature of over 11 billion Kelvin will be required to fuse even two protons. This potential barrier stems from a positive charge of both particles. The protons will need to overcome their electrostatic repulsion to enter fusion range. Even the sun's core temperature of 15 million Kelvin is nowhere near enough to kickstart the process, at least in theory. That's where quantum tunneling comes into play. We're used to thinking of position in a classical sense as fixed coordinates in the three-dimensional space. On a quantum scale, however, position represents an array of probable realities. Each state simultaneously holds true to the extent of its corresponding probability until a single actuality is materialized. Uncertainty lends plausibility to each state. Regardless of the actual definite probabilities, a non-zero chance always remains for any two protons to exist within proximity to allow nuclear fusion to succeed. However, we can't ignore the classical side of things, as a particle's coordinates serve as a baseline for its quantum distribution. This sensitizes quantum tunneling to the classical separation between the particles. In our sun, the closer the protons get to begin with, the more successful they'll be post-quantum. It's the immutable way the whole universe runs. As the stepping stone for nuclear fusion, quantum tunneling allows stars to continue shining on for years to come. Someday, our sun will die out, but for now, it keeps on burning, all thanks to quantum mechanics. <laughs>